Hi guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So this is the fourth week of Should I Buy It? And I thought, let me do a palette that is a bit more affordable. I look back and all the palettes are like £40. <laughs> and not all my palettes are £40. So I thought, let me do one I haven't used since the first time I used it. But let me show you the palette. <laughs> I'm trying not to crease my face too much. I'm doing the Revolution X Kami palette and the shimmers in this palette, bitch. <laughs> They're amazing, especially, you got it. No, you got this, but every time I see it, I'm like, you got it, girl. <laughs> that was the color that made me buy it, but I'm gonna try and use a bit more of the mattes today to see what they're saying. If you want to see what look I come up with and what I think, then just continue watching. To keep with the affordable theme, I'm going to use the Banana Deep Powder by Revolution. Let me pop a bit more under my eye because I'm not going quite dark today. I don't remember this palette having fallout, but just in case. I'm liking how it's like um, sitting on my skin though. And I don't look, considering how much I'm putting on, I'm still putting on more. I don't look as yellow as I expected to. Okay, so for what he actually came for, um, I'm not gonna use any base on my eyes because I don't know. I did put one of the colors on my eyes and I saw how vibrant it was without a base. So I'm not going to use one. So I'm going to start with, with my AO8 brush. I'm going to go into dark side, the black in the palette. And this is actually, I'll, I'll show you first. Uh, look at that. That is black, black. It's very good black. Oof. Now you see why I put down so much powder. <laughs> Could never be sure when using black and I'm just blending it out. Ooh. Look at it. Put into You Do You. The colour right next to it. This palette is only £10 and look. So it's not every day break the bank to get pigment. Anyway, I'm gonna blend it out with you, do you. I'm gonna tap it in first. Even look at that. If you watch my um, basics of Tony blending video, then you know I tap it in first before I start blending it out just so every colour shows through. So that's all tapped in, and then we're gonna start blending it. Just right between the colours. I do wanna keep the shape, but I don't want it to look unblended. <laughs> Dilemmas. Sort this part out. Or what I'll actually do is I will go back into you, do you, and just blend that out underneath the black as well to so give it more of a blown out look at the side so I don't have to worry about reconcealing as soon as I've got powder on my face already. <laughs> okay, no, I don't like that. <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna have to put concealer down in there. I got it. I'm just gonna go into the same concealer I use for under my eyes and then just draw a line right there. Better. Yes, I'm okay. just using a small concealer brush just to blend that out. See, this is why I usually do my eye before I do the rest of my face. 
just in case I make mistakes like this. Um, then I'm going to go back in with the brush, I use powder and then just tap over that area with powder residue. Okay. I'm going to go back into the brush I was using um, to blend out You Do You and then just go back in and continue blending. I think what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go back into the AO8 brush and blend up the black a bit into You Do You. I think that will help the blend a bit more. Oh, this is bold. <laughs> um, yeah, I think this is, yeah, going back in the brush that I did You Do You with, I'm just lightly brushing it around the edges so you can still see it there. Yeah, I think that made a bit of a difference. I just opened the blinds a bit more. Yeah, so you could actually see the two colours because I was worried you couldn't see it at all. But as I was saying, it's like a blackened purple. So it's like there's a hint of a different colour. So it's not just like a normal black smoky eye. Um, do I like the blend? I'm going to go back in with you, do you, and blend it between. I feel like there's still a bit of harshness there. I know you're probably thinking, you're really going to just use two colours <laughs> to show us whether a palette is good or not. But I'm going to swatch the shimmers because I'm going to use a shimmer in my inner corner. Okay, okay, I'll just, yeah. <laughs> oh, my eyebrows, are, I like them today, yeah. It's been a real struggle city recently with my brows. Oh, this is real dark. Summer's over, boy. <laughs> so I'm gonna put dark room, my lower lash line, when I find it. <laughs> I don't know who it is that notified um, <laughs> makeup companies to increase the quality of the mirrors, but it's really good and considering it's only £10 as well, look how good that is. Okay, I'm going to leave a little gap at the front of my eye because that's where I'm going to put the shimmer down. And see, seeing as it's a purpley colour I used here, I'm going to use Desire right there and pop that in my inner corner. I'm going to swatch the shimmers on my arm in a moment. Just wanted to finish off the eye first. And I'm just going to drag it out a bit further. I'm just blending out dark room with the excess of dark side that I have on the brush. Smooth it out a bit. So my eyes started watering off camera, so that's why there's a gap of shadow there. Whoa. <laughs> I haven't done a dark smoky eye like this since um, last December when I did 25 Days of Tony. I'm doing it again this year, so I won't be posting as much on YouTube during de December. I will make sure to get videos out, but they won't be like this length and stuff I can't do all that and yeah so make sure you follow me on Instagram to see how I'm getting on with that because you don't want to miss out I'm going to be doing looks every day of December it's your new year's so make sure to check it out seeing as I'm going for a almost fully affordable look I'm going to use the Revolution X Rachel Leary palette this mirror up uh, anyway it's not about this palette i'm gonna go into this color to bronze okay bronzed 
giving you color. And that's with no powder to snatch it out. Really? Um, yeah, this palette is 15 pounds. It has eyeshadow and face products. So I'm going to use um, for blush. blush. I'm going to use. Hmm, blush. Um, I'm going to use Caroline for blush. It's like a shimmery brush. So we'll see how that looks on. Yeah, that's fine. You know when you just have all these things packed up in your drawer, so when you think about what you want to use, you have your regulars that are already there. So I haven't used it in a while, but that's not bad at all. Let me spray my face. Okay, I'm gonna use the Illuminating Fixing Spray by Makeup Obsession, which is sister company of Makeup Revolution. It's sold in boots. Whew. It smells like, um, you know the, the water that you use to thin out, to blow out bubbles? It smells like that. Oh yeah, and always make sure to shake it before you use it. I didn't do the inner corner, hold on. Sorry. Um, that's Desire. Let me swatch a few colours on my arm. There you go. My shoddy swatch work. There you go. <laughs> So there actually is like a lot of variety you can actually do with this palette. Like you can do a really soft pink or sort of blushy sort of look. Or you could do something real cool tone, or real intense like this. So I think you should get it. You know, it's up to you. <laughs> so I'm going to highlight. I'm not sure what colours to highlight with, <laughs> honestly. Um... I'm feeling like I should go with Cause of You because it would be the safest. This pink and gold, like rose gold sort of colour, I use that as highlight. I have been trying to find ways to use palettes for multiple reasons. Ooh. Okay. Cause of You. Yes. Oh, that's gorgeous. I did not expect that. Because you know some colours, they swatch well, and then we actually try and put it on your skin, especially when it's a eyeshadow. They don't pick up the way you would hope. Pop it on my nose as well. See, I'd even add any more, and look at that. Oh, pretty. Okay. So I'm going to go into Mulberry by Sleek. Let's see. I think this is one of the darkest colours I have. I guess I have been saying I wanted to do something different. I'm actually going outside as well. <laughs> I don't know why I would choose to do something like this and I'm going outside, but we're here now. Oh, the highlight. Okay, while my lashes are getting tacky and drying a bit, I'll give you my final thoughts. So, as I said, I like the mirror. Oh, I like the packaging as well, I forgot to say. Um, the pigment is there. The only thing, and the price is only £10 or $15, I think. You have to check. The only thing I'll say is when you look at the palette, it is like a little bit, um, I know I always say intimidating, but the reason I do is because you look at it and you're like, where do I begin? Like, what look do I do? It's a pro and a con because I can, I know I can do so many things with this palette, but there is, <laughs> I don't know. 
know, is there such thing as too many options? So I wanted to do something a little bit different and this palette sort of challenges you to do something a bit different. So if you like that, I would recommend buying it. But let me know what you guys thought of this look. Wait, I put my lashes on before you decide. <laughs> but don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And one second. Okay, lashes are on. You can't even see, really, because they're so dark. <laughs> My eyes are so dark. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you on Thursday. Bye. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, but I have to go outside now, so. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>